Hello, I'm Dr. Angelo Landrasina, AKA Dermangelo, board certified dermatologist, skincare enthusiast, and person with anger issues. Well, friends, it is LGBTQ Pride Month, known to some as LGBTQ Rage Month, and I have come to rage today. Actually, I'm just kidding. While I feel like righteous anger is really part of my brand, I'm going to present you with some things today that I want you to stop doing. And really, it's for your own good. That's right, I've combed some of the comments in many of my social media videos, and I am bringing to you the stuff that you should stop doing or not care about, etc. Oh, and speaking of social media, you should follow me everywhere at Dermangelo. I'm on shorts. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on Twitter. I'm everywhere. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to be doing a skincare routine while I talk to you today. I've already cleansed off screen with Bioma's Creamy Jelly Cleanser. This brand's entire ethos is improving your skin barrier for better skin. They also keep sustainability in mind. I've been testing this cleanser out for a while. It's neither creamy nor jelly. I feel like it's a really liquidy gel cleanser. It's non-stripping. It gets the job done. I don't know why, but I feel like this year I have not tried a bad cleanser yet. And that actually takes us into our first topic. The first thing that I want you to stop doing is what I call splitting. Splitting is something that will be known to those who uh, know about psychology. It's when a person assumes that other people are automatically good or bad and there's no in-between. It's associated with some psychiatric disorders. And I'm not saying that people on the internet consuming skincare content are mentally ill. What I'm saying is that I've noticed this tendency to say products are good or bad, that they're worth it or not. Even some of my dermatology kin have fallen into this trap. Why? It's good clickbait. People like to see that. People like to see you trash products. I mean, I should know. I've made a career out of trashing St. Ives Apricot Scrub. And what I want you to know is that all jokes aside, it's not about a product being good or bad. It's about finding the products that are right for you, that work for your skin and your skin concerns. So product reviews will only take you so far. You do actually have to try a product yourself to see if it's good for you or bad for you. Moving on to step number two. All of these products, by the way, are things that I'm currently testing out to bring you full reviews. This is the Ulla Henriksen Barrier Booster Orange Ferment Essence. This has fermented orange peel extract, orange stem cells. I don't think plant stem cells are really going to do anything for the skin, as well as vitamin C. This stuff smells really orangey. It smells like orange candy. When I was a kid, I liked all of like the lemon and orange flavored candies. I would go for yellow and the orange starburst that nobody wanted. I just love citrus. I used to eat lemons whole. Like I still do that. Put a little bit of salt on it and just eat it. The second thing I want you to stop doing is just looking for the next product to buy. I feel like, you know, obviously capitalism is what makes the world go round and what makes social media a thing. And obviously I'm a player in that, but I think you need to really look at your skin and ask yourself, do these new flashy products that I'm tempted to buy really fit into my routine? I think so often there's just this drive to consume more stuff. If I just buy this next product, my skin will be better. What is the next thing I can do? When really, you gotta analyze the routine that you have right now, look at your goals, and when you try something new, make sure you're giving it enough time. I actually had a great chat with Glow by Ramon about my concept of intentional skincare. I will put that video in the card for you to look at. It delves a little bit deeper into this topic, but rather than just perusing skincare products, maybe look for skincare information. Make achieving your skin goals more important than what skincare you're buying. For my next step, I am going to be using Laneige's Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Serum. I talked about this in my video where I critiqued Sydney Sweeney's skincare routine. I'll put it in the card for you. And I said I would bring you a review if Laneige sent me the products. And guess what? They did. This is actually like a really cool refillable component. I think it's refillable. Yeah, it is refillable. So you twist it to open and then 
Nourisher pump. You pump out your serum. This stuff has an interesting scent to it. There are gonna be a lot of smells going on with my skin today between the toner and this and what comes next. So the next thing I want you to stop doing is overcomplicating things. What do I mean by that? I find that a lot of commenters on my posts ask questions that show that they're thinking a little bit too much. For instance, how should I reapply sunscreen throughout the day when my face is dirty? Do I need to put sunscreen over my dirty face? I don't know what you're doing during your day, but your face shouldn't be that dirty by the time you've been wearing your sunscreen for two hours. And I'm kind of bombarded with questions of this nature all the time, not just having to do with sun protection, but other stuff like what ingredients could be mixed, what order to put skincare in. There are answers to these things. And some of the questions are so specific and complex that there's not even an evidence-based answer to them. I will quite often answer comments by saying there is no good evidence-based answer to this. I think maybe take skincare information at face value. If you get caught up in thinking too much or worrying about things, it's going to keep you from achieving your goals. However, I don't blame you. There's a lot of information to consume out there, a lot of skincare experts and skincare experts that are giving you opinions. That kind of carries us into our next topic. Okay, the next product that I'm using today came along with the previous one. This is Laneige's Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. Okay, so this is, I would say, a midweight moisturizer, also focused on hydration. The next thing I would like you to stop doing is taking someone's opinion as fact. So now, there are people, even doctors, even some derms that I see sometimes opining about certain things. For instance, you shouldn't mix hydroxy acids and retinoids in the same routine. One genre of this that really gets to me is when they say, oh, if you have skin of color, you shouldn't use this ingredient or that ingredient. That is someone's opinion. That is quite often not based on any data. So you need to question these beliefs. If somebody online is telling you something that sounds far-fetched, and they don't have any data to back it up, ask some questions. Because I get so many comments on so many of my videos saying, oh, I thought doing this and this together was bad. I thought this practice was bad. I thought this ingredient didn't go with that ingredient. One that really gets to me a lot is, oh, I thought that everybody should be double cleansing all the time. When really there's no data to show this. It's just that you heard it from somebody and it's their opinion. And quite often people do a bad job of presenting their opinions as opinions. And it's fine to have opinions, but that doesn't make it the truth, the gospel, the word. So question your beliefs, maybe. Find out the original sources for the stuff that you learn online, if you have the time at least. And if somebody's saying something that sounds far-fetched and they don't back it up, it might just be their opinion. Okay, the next product I'll be using today is the Cosmorex Aloe Soothing Sunscreen Sun Cream. This is SPF 50 plus and PA3 pluses. This was sent to me by Stylevana, and you could use my Stylevana affiliate code SHOPANGELO to save some coins. I'll be reviewing this as part of my series, the SPF 30. If you didn't know, I'm reviewing a different sunscreen every day for June 2022. You can find that series on Shorts or Instagram or over on TikTok. This is the first time I'm actually trying this one, so we're going to do a little bit of a wear test today. Now, on the topic of opinions. One thing that I would like to see people stop doing is crowdsourcing opinions on medical conditions. Now, what do I mean by that? I've seen many a Facebook group or posting where people are asking other people advice on rashes or on what to do with their skin or skin problems. I feel like this is not a good idea. Why? One, for a lot of those opinions that you're gonna get, the people that you're asking usually don't have any credentials. You don't know why they're saying what they're saying. They just speak from personal experience. So that's one. The other thing is quite often, the photos that you're taking and posting are not really high quality. So like even somebody like me, if you don't give me a high quality photo, I can't just make a diagnosis through a computer screen or a phone screen. The last thing is quite often, people give you bad information or just flat out 
bad advice. You may have noticed if you've been following me for a while, like I can't respond to people asking for direct medical advice because I don't treat them. And some people have made the point that, you know, maybe they don't have a dermatologist near them or they don't have health insurance. I did an interview last year where I talked about this issue and some resources that people can go to if they're having issues finding care. Now, I would much rather you do that than go online, ask for opinions, have somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about give you the wrong diagnosis, and then make a recommendation that you take that makes your condition worse. So just think about it when you go to the internet for medical advice. Okay, I didn't have a mirror in front of me as I was applying that and um, probably looked crazy the whole time I was talking. Bit of a beard cast there, but overall looking good. So there you have it, five things to stop doing. I actually just finished up off camera with The Ordinary's Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum in my brows and Make Beauty's uh, Serum Balm on my lips in the color Nude Nova. This is today's skin. Ow. 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 If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you made it this far, you probably learned something, so you should still give it a thumbs up. Oh, and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. I've been looking at the analytics and most of you are not subscribed, but you're still watching my videos. So just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, please. I'm begging you. Until next time. Ciao.